wagwan beautiful people how you guys doing hope all is well so today we're going to be talking about my four month post-op tummy tuck um i began in people asking me how is it going even people been responding back to my last video saying that the swelling is gonna um take a while to go away um so yeah if you want to see what's going on at four months um stay tuned so if you're new to my channel i would love for you to subscribe and for my ogs thank you guys for supporting um you can always find me on instagram too at janisha.d follow me guys um show your support um yeah so let's talk about my four months <laughs> So yeah, we're finally at four months. Um, I was four months on the 6th. Today is the 17th <laughs> of November. So yeah, four months. Oh God. Um, for the most part, my overall health, I'm doing good. I love my results. As I stated before, um, I love my results. I still do even more. But... The swelling is no joke. Um, other than the swelling, everything is good. Um, I'm exercising now. Um, I'm not doing any like sit-ups, crunches, those type of thing. I don't know. I'm still kind of scared. Um, but for the most part, I'm like walking. Um, I'm lifting some weights a little. Not too much. I don't pass 10 pounds. And... I've been watching what I eat for the most part, just trying to eat healthy overall. I have lost 10 pounds, but I know that's just water weight. Um, when I came out of surgery, I was 157 or 158. And prior to surgery, I was 156. So I gained like two pounds after. And then now I'm at 145. Yay. Um, so weight is going down, which is good. My goal weight is to be um 135. So we'll see how that goes. Cause you know, like when you're trying to lose and like when you get to a certain because right now I'm at 145 and I'm like, hmm, I actually like it right here, but I don't want to get too comfortable. I want to go down some more so I can have some wiggle room when I do gain the weight. Um, because you know weight just fluctuate um and i'm a foodie i love to eat i'm always eating um but for the most part i just kind of watch what i eat uh if i know i'm gonna be drinking wine in the evening i try to limit my carbs from early on in the day stuff like that that's how i kind of like watch and you know eat more salads for the most part um for my scar I started using after trying to find this thing for like on the net for like so long. Silogen. Um, it comes in this box. It's like this. I start using it this on my scar. Um, it's like it's one hundred percent pure silicone gels for scars. I've been. I just received this probably the end of last month october so i start using this um it's not even a month yet so we'll see um my scars for the most part um have been fading but it's not completely like you know faded some areas are a little bit darker than some and then some areas are like fair so this is what I've been using and just regular. Before I got this, I was using regular shea butter. Um, I was using shea butter. Yeah, shea butter. And I was using a shea butter and turmeric soap. Um, because they said turmeric has brightening agent in it. So I was using that to shower with and just regular shea butter um to keep it moist. And that's it for the most part. Overall, I'm doing good. Lost a couple pounds. Watching what I eat. Scar is fading. Um, 
everything is going wonderful can't complain so let's just i don't want to make this video whole 10 minutes if i don't have to so i'm gonna change because i'm in this romper right now i don't want to show all my goodies on the net so i'm gonna change and show you guys what the scar is looking like and what we're working with so yeah all right guys so this is what i currently look like in a crop top um that's the belly button um you guys know i still have this little um thing like i think my faha um rubbed it off in the beginning and that's just how it looks but it doesn't bother me i love how my i'm looking down <laughs> i love i love how my belly button looks um yeah so that's my tummy then let's see see so this is what my scar is looking like oh god oh, my brother doesn't watch this so um this the side that my drain was on right here um as you can see this side is a little bit darker um and this side is not as dark y'all so this part end up being in one of my like large stretch marks that's like at the side and for some reason to me it kind of now looks like dog ears if this does this look like dog ears to you guys well that's doing it but like right here i don't know but um that's the least but for the most part so this is the scar I hope you guys can see it well um but yeah for the most part i love like uh, and like when i wear panties um it basically covers it covers my line yep um so yeah this is what we're looking at four months four months in like what two weeks or so for the most part i love my results yeah talk to me nice y'all eel up look good yeah right <laughs> i'm just saying but yeah for the most part yo for anybody for all the ladies that out there that's like thinking about getting this surgery i mean yeah we all know like there's a risk with surgery but sis if you don't have them kids even if you don't have no kids and you got that gut you trying to get rid of it go get that tummy tuck because let me tell you like i was always like self-conscious about my stomach and let me tell you like but i'm not one of them to be like always be like trying to show my tummy i was never one of you know those type of people but i just like when my clothes look nice on me so sis confidence just went up 100 so yeah if you're looking into it it's worth it it's worth it for me my confidence has went up um gotta look good right talk to me nice so yeah, thank you guys. Um, for all the people that's been like DM me, asking me how is it going, how is post op, checking up on me. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And for all the people that's new, please, I would love for you to subscribe, become part of the family. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.